Everything has a story, even coffee. Have you ever wondered where it comes from? All of these plants that you can see along the hillside, that's all coffee. I'm Natasha and I've been living abroad for the last seven years. Normally I'm in Europe, but now I'm in Colombia and I want to show you the true Colombia. So subscribe and let's get exploring. Good morning everybody, we are in the heart of Colombia and I say the heart of Colombia not because we're in the center, because we are in the cafe zone. We are here to try coffee. So we're gonna go through the whole process from the bean, the fruit itself, all the way to the cup. Coffee is super special to Colombia because it is one of the top five exports. And of course, there are millions of coffee drinkers around the world. So I'm really excited to find out how this place, Recuca, does the process. We have the typical clothing of Colombia. They made us put all these things on and now we're going to dance and do the typical Colombian dance. This is actually the dress that the cafeteras would wear. So the women would cook and then the men would go out and pick the coffee beans. What do you think so far? It's too early to tell. <laughs> After they had us dance, they then had us put on like a little bit of a show. <laughs> <laughs> we walked through what they typically wear. You're only supposed to pick the red ones because if you get a green one, then the coffee is going to be bitter. So we just went and we picked a bunch of these. There were about 10 or 12 of us and we only picked half of a bucket. So one of these buckets will be about 5,000 Colombian pesos. In a low season, they'll pick between 40 and 50 kilos per day and in high season up to 200 kilos <sighs> all right so after all of the cafeteras they pick all of the coffee they come here to the bodega they bring it and they put it all through here so it's all collected into here and then here all of the outer parts like the peel is taken off they fill up one of these with water and then they put the coffee beans in here and then the ones that are bad float up to the top because they've got little holes in them. And then they're brought over here where they're heated up to 60 degrees Celsius, right? Or 70. And then, so here they separate them between bad and the ones that are good. Then they take the ones that are good and they collect them and they put them into these bags. And then they go to the next process where they toast them and then they grind them and then of course you drink them. Thank 
¿Cómo es? Wow. ¿Sí? Chicos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo le parece este Uf. café? Muy Otro bien, nivel. ¿Es cierto? Sí. Hey. La diferencia de un café de baja calidad, un café de primera calidad, es que el de baja calidad va a ser muy amargo. No sabe agradable porque... I don't even have words for what's happening here. It's super unexpected, but I guess that's just kind of what life is like sometimes, right? That was completely unexpected. I did not expect for a coffee tour to be like that. Overall, great experience and glad we came. At first, I was pretty like, pretty hesitant, like what's happening? It's always good to be a little bit out of your comfort zone, so. Our tour guide was awesome, Santiago, so if you do come, ask for him because he's brilliant. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button because why not? It's free, it costs you nothing and it really, really helps me out. And hit the like button if you liked it. And I will see you in the next video for an authentic day in the Highlands. Ciao amigos! It can be a little bit chilly and they have to wake up really, really early. Ra. Te toca. Eh.